Hey, what's going on all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reactions or video gameplays or anything else I put on this channel. <laughs> but tonight we're going to have another episode of Reviews and Reactions. This request comes to us by Peter Stevens, and coming back to the channel is Wumscut with his song, Torn Skin, off of the Bunkator, Bunkator Zeben, or Seven album. Uh, full disclosure, I think I've heard this song before. I'm, I'm sure I have. I just can't recall ever listening to it. So, um, if I have heard it, I will let you know. Um. Transparency is always a good thing. Being true to oneself is always a good thing. Um, love Wumpscut. Love Rudy Rotzinger. He is the solo guy who does uh, Wumpscut. Um, but the link to the original video will be in the description box for your viewing pleasure. But without further ado, let's jump right in. Wumpscut. Torn skin. Jump right in. <laughs> Okay, song of sexual nature, perhaps. I like the background keyboards. Kind of creepy. Definitely reminiscent of Walter Wumscut. Very airy keyboard work here. 
very light. Little different keyboards here. That's a little change. I definitely have not heard this song before. I'm very surprised. I generally have listened to a lot of Wumpscott. I don't know how this one never... I never listened to it. I, I don't know. Um, but I do have a lot to say about this song. Uh, but I'm going to obviously save that for the uh, review section. See you guys there. All right, ghouls and ghosts. That was Wumpscott. With their song, Torn Skin. This reaction review comes to us by Peter Stevens. Thank you for the lovely, lovely request. Not too often I get to hear something new from Wumpscut. Uh, Rudy Rotzinger is the uh, solo artist of Wumpscut. Um, this uh, song comes off of the Bunkator Zeben album. Absolutely love this album. Uh, my, I know it's weird, but my two favorite songs are the intro and the outro. Um, I do believe um, it has very underlying tones with uh, World War II and Nazis, uh, with the trains coming and leaving um, Auschwitz, I want to say, but I'm not exactly sure. But that's definitely up uh, Rudy's alley, his wheelhouse. Um Love the song. It was definitely a, a graver's stomp type of song. Like, like a grave and a raver. Get it? Quite a little, little phrase there. Kind of like it. <laughs> Not going to lie. Um, it was one of his slower songs. Very atmospheric. Um, got that driving Wumpscut beat as the usual that you come to expect with Wumpscut. But but juxtaposition to that was the kind of lilting, airy, uh, higher pitched um, synth slash keyboards. Um, it worked very well. The, the moaning girl lady. Um, it actually kind of reminded me of the song "Ish Vid Dish" uh, from Mumscut. I want you. Um, that's a very X X X rated song. Absolutely love that song. If I had to give this a score, I'm probably going to give it 4.5 skulls out of 5. I think that works pretty good. How much I would change, add, or anything like that. Nothing to really gripe about. Um, it was a very... The song itself was very open. Uh, that was filled by, like I said, the, the lilting keyboards. Um, they did change it up, or he changed it up, I should say. Um, it was a nice welcome change. They didn't keep things too repetitive, um, which is uh, tends to be uh, 
a problem with a lot of uh, EBM, EDM, goth, trance, uh, electronic, electronica music. So it was a nice little change here and there. Um, I'm not too familiar with the uh, lyrics too much. You know what, as a matter of fact, let's check them out real quick. Let's see if I can find some real quick. I wonder which you are. I saw you. A masochist's guilt? A masochist's guilt. But this guilty life for now will have to do. The nature of doubt. The nature of doubt. Give me your warm skin. Warm skin. Now wrap it around. You will get back when your corpse is found. Being cut off by chance among the darkest skies. Cattle tracing the blood. Cattle tracing the blood. I am caught by the lunacy of... A fever finds, reacts in the mud, reacts in the mud. Give me your worn skin, now wrap it around. You'll get back when your corpse is found. <laughs> oh, that's dark. It was out in the rain. It was out in the game. Can you remember her name? Follow the way her love will find a will. Follow the way her love will find a will. Repeat, repeat. Follow the way. Follow my way. Ah. We are the... It says S dash dash. We are the shit. We are the shit of tomorrow, I assume. We are the shit of tom. Uh, we are the shit. The shit of tomorrow. We are the shit. The shit of tomorrow. We are the shit. The shit of tomorrow. 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 Very interesting, in fact. Um, you got a guy who's basically cutting off some skin off a live person and wearing it. Uh, Hannibal Lecter, much. <laughs> Um, probably maybe influenced a little bit by that. This song probably came out in 97, 98, I want to say. Not exactly sure. Um, uh, the We Are Shit comments, We Are the Shit of Tomorrow, is basically about uh, dying. I, would, I hope this is my interpretation anyways. Your skin turning to mush as you decompose whenever you die. Not going to get too much into that. But typical Rudy Ratzinger lyrics. <laughs> it fits it fit the song, the atmosphere of the song very well. Um, loved it. Love the lyrics. Love the song. Love Wumscut. Love to see more Wumscut reactions. Uh, but I'll leave them in the Six Feet Under. If you want to see me react to any other band for that matter, leave that in the Six Feet Under as well. I would greatly appreciate it. But I think that's going to be it. For this episode of Reviews and Reactions, as always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell. As always, you ghouls and ghosts, and stay scared. Ah! Ah!